Hello everyone, Shaz here back at you with another G Vlog video. Today I'm going to disassemble this Fisherman G Shock watch. Well, you should have seen this coming. I mean, I disassemble every single G Shock watch that I have. So, here we go. So here we are, let me quickly explain all this and then I'll proceed with the uh, disassembly. This is the watch bezel, it came with this titanium ring down below it to support it even more and also to give this watch a really unique aesthetics. I gotta say, it is incredibly different and unique as well, so interesting. This is for the bezel and this is for, for the hard case, this ring will sit on top somewhere, somehow like that, pretty basic. And this is the uh, side screw for this G-Shock watch which is, if you are wondering, will be slightly shorter than recent release ones. So for example, this one is could be found on a Frogman like the one at the back or on a Golfman or on a Riceman or a Mudman model. Slightly longer and this is indeed uh, stainless steel but this Fisherman version is titanium. You could use both of these and they are indeed interchangeable between one over the other so that's pretty interesting to know that you could use these older screws on your recent release G-Shock watch pretty nice because the cost to get one of these is usually will be cheaper than purchasing a brand new side screw like this and the backplate screws I mean even though they look the same similar to most G-Shock watch but they are made out of titanium Sorry, I just dropped it. There, here it is. And there we go. It is fully made out of titanium, so it is indeed lighter in weight and more rust resistance, which fits very well to the team of this watch. Fisherman to be used by the beach, by the sea. So this is the back cushion with all those cushioning points for the uh, floating module concept, like that. Let's just at the back. And this is the strap of the watch, which also has the same look construction uh, compared to recent model as well so you could just plug it in like that on the recent release mudman golfman frogman probably not frogman though or rangeman you could use this same strap on those newer model master of g as well so interesting to see that they made the design of the look is sort of like future proof and they are interchangeable even to the model that was released today it's really really interesting the back plate is also made out of titanium with those mermaid and those piezoelectric speaker. And talking about the speaker, notice that there are no spring at all on the back. That's because they connect to the speaker with these two panel. This metal parts here is what connect to the speaker. Interesting. This way it would be a little bit more safer. I mean, you not you don't have to be afraid to losing the piezoelectric speaker spring. So there's tiny little details that is interesting. And you guys can see that it operates on CR2016 and the battery was locked with this single metal plate. If you want to remove it, just unhook it on this side. There it is. And take it out like that with Casio Japan sign at the bottom of it. Like so. Now take the engine out with all the layer, protection layer that this watch have. Right, there you go need to force it out a little bit this will be the face plate which could be removed but somehow stuck with in between all these buttons but it's all fine the interior looks pretty basic the o-ring just indeed came in O shape so nothing much to see here anymore really pretty interesting all right this is the engine and also the layers protection layers one two three four and the hard case five so this is how the engine, the module looks like. Incredible. Take the battery out. 
and disassemble this MG. Here is all of the parts that made up this Fisherman G-Shock watch. Let's run through all of them, right? Starting off with the display panel compartment, which is this guy. So this watch features a similar style of construction where 2ADW6900, where you're gonna need to remove the display panel from the front by pulling this pin or this locking clip on top so that's how it goes and this electro sorry this electro luminescent sheets will go over there like so connected with two springs on this side and on this side as well which is this two gold spring down here let me put this at the back and we have a visitor right now there it is anyway move away move away go to the back go to the back right and this is the display panel connector to the circuit board which will go in here two of them and this is of course the circuit board which is incredibly complicated looking just look at that look at how complicated this is this watch only have tight graph moon phase and thermometer sensor built in so it end up looking like this really incredible and this is how the other side goes All right, let me put this thing over here. And next thing is, this is the battery compartment, which looks pretty, pretty simple, by the way. Nothing much to see here. Just, it looks complicated, but it is just a battery compartment. This is the first cushion. Sorry, this is the side cushion. This is the side metal frame. You guys seen this before, right? And well, overall, it is not a totally complicated uh, construction. It is pretty simple, but the circuit board is really complicated and I could see how this watch gonna be really really tough the construction is simple it didn't have a lot of tiny parts if you broke anything it just gonna be either one of this 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 or this yeah that's it if you break anything you gonna need to replace just any one of this most likely will be this most vintage watch whenever it is broken uh, either from display panel side or the el usually you're gonna need to replace the whole circuit board before i end the video of course i'm gonna snap some photos to make the short version of this clip which uh, all the details will be available in patreon if you want to support the channel you can do so you'll have access to all this close-up image as well so for now i'm gonna sum it all up i hope you guys found this video a little bit useful informative and entertaining thank you very very much for watching this is Shaz and I'll see you guys in the next one guys. Alright, ciao.